My granddad was in the RAF, and he'd tell me all the stories about when he was in the RAF, what he worked on. And we'd go and see the, to airports and just watch planes going by. Aerospace was a big, big driver for me. And to work on an aircraft like that you obviously put going on holiday on, very interesting, very interesting um, field to be in. I went to France with fellow uh, students from my university. Obviously the, the language, considerable barrier to overcome, I think. The culture as well, the different style of living, more relaxed. And they have luxuries like boulangeries, wonderful cakes at weekends used to enjoy, uh, which I think we can learn a lot from, from them by going over there and participating in such internships. And that two weeks was a, a big eye-opener. Up until then I knew I wanted to get involved in engineering. I wasn't sure what aspect of engineering I'd like to get into. That two week placement sort of really encouraged me to get into design because I saw what the guys were doing. Okay, it was in the um, nuclear industry, but the design practices, principles and stuff were sort of introduced at that stage and I just wanted to learn more about that. Two weeks wasn't enough really. Well, there's three things really about Aircell which is why I applied and um, took the job and offer up. One was the um, the location of air cell within the Safran group. The second reason was the location really as well. It's up the north where I'm from. And the third reason was that it has unique capability for composites, which is a leading technology in the aerospace industry. As a design engineer here, there's a, a, a lot of wide variety to your, your job. It's very challenging, but you get much pride out of doing such work like that. For the next five years, I'd like, I'd like to go back to France again, learning from um, some guys over there work on different projects to what I'm working on now. It's a good opportunity for me to develop and also it's a good opportunity for the site here to have someone with that experience on site here at Burnley. New aircraft will require new engines, new propulsion systems, new nacelles which we make here and what we have now, we cannot sit on what we have now, we need to develop further and that's a big challenge for I think the industry as a, as a whole and to be involved in something that could help develop, which has never been seen before, is very, very challenging and very, yeah, very exciting indeed.